Hi guys, Karen Respecta, how are you? So today I'm bringing you a TRX ab workout, a lot of Pilates inspired moves. So we're gonna begin on the floor, which is a little bit of a warm up, taking the arms over, head, shoulders off the ears. Let's take an inhale, rise in the arms. And then as you exhale, coming up to flexion. Let's do that again as you inhale to come down. Exhale, rising up. Gaze is toward the navel. Let's go three more here. Think of a little lemon for that chin and chest. We have two more to the finish, rising up. And one more to the finish, rising up to that curl. Slowly release that down. Right leg tabletop. Find a little imprint where the ribs and hips come together. Left leg comes to join. Inhale. Option one, keep the knees bent. Option two, extend those legs. Let's go for eight. And seven. Are we ready to work, guys? And six. We're going to go through a series of moves for 30 seconds with a little transition time in between to get us ready for the next. So let's go. One more here. Pump the arms for eight, seven, six, five, four. Draw the belly deeper. Two and one and rest. All right, we're going to begin. We have our straps, our TRX straps at the longest level or maybe a little bit higher so you're more at the shins. And we're going to start with our bridge. So coming to the tailbone, anchor, shoulders off the ears. Inhale and prepare. We're gonna to start today with a little imprint. So starting with the scooping of the abdominals, make sure you turn the butt on first, otherwise it'll go right to the hamstring. So we're gonna rise up, we're gonna go into a little roll out, come in and down. So we squeeze the buttocks, lengthen, hamstring curl and down. Fire the seat, extend the legs, bend in and lower. Exercise one, right here, right? So we work the core, it's not just abs. You got abs and back, Deep core muscles working together. Whew. Press, bend, return. Give me one more. Press, bend, and return. All right, we're gonna switch in a little bit for the next one. So we're pressing softly down with our feet, shoulders off the ears. I want you to rise up to flexion. Okay, I'm gonna bring the right knee in, the left leg out. And now we're gonna add a crisscross. So knee comes toward that armpit, right? So we're gonna go little twist, little twist. Little twist, working those obliques. Here we go, 30 seconds. We're never pulling on that neck or head. Try not to allow the straps to saw up and down. So it's a gentle press through the foot. Feel the hamstring engage. How are we doing? Go, go, and rest. Nice job. Shoulders off the ears, going into a little double leg stretch. So I want you to begin here. Rising up to flexion to the tips of the shoulder blades. Hands come to the outside of those legs. We're gonna inhale the arms away. Exhale to come in. Let's go, let's go. So the key here is to keep that little imprint. If that's too much, go ahead and do that with the head down. Right? Lift. Stay in this curl if you can. If that feels too much, bring it down. Let's go. Not letting the back arch. Belly's starting to burn. How are we doing, guys? Right to the finish, let's go. Feel that core turning on. Back of those legs turning on. Tailbone remains anchored for this one, right? Hips are down. One more and rest. All right, roll yourself up. I'm gonna take my right foot here, place it into the left cradle. Take my left foot, place it into the right cradle. And then we're gonna come around to a little plank position on the forearms. Rising up and holding option one. Option two, make a little saw. My body's going in one long line, forward and back. So think here. You're engaging under the armpits. The serratus is engaging. Core is really strong here. Glutes are firing. Your body's making that sawing motion. One long line, Woo -hoo. forward and back. Forward and back. Whew. Keep scooping the abdominals. If you need a rest, come to the knees. You can always hold that plank. All right, we're going to mountain climbers. Palms are coming right underneath us. Are we ready to rock? All right, guys, get ready. Shoulders are off those ears. Coming up to that full plank position. Right knee is in, left knee is in. Now, I'm gonna go slow today. So really concentrating on that core as you feel. Options, modifications. You can stay and hold your plank. You can come to the forearm plank and stay on your knees. You're still getting the body ready. Try not to saw those straps like I just did there. Bring it in. Good, good, good. 
keep that alignment with the neck and head, and rest. How we make out, guys. All right, we're going into double leg stretch. So your legs are gonna come in together, right? Thinking about upper body is strong, core is zipping in, glutes are firing. Get ready, lifting up, your knees are gonna come in and in. It's like a little squat positioning. Use that core. Arms are definitely working here. We're feeling that burn. Remember your options if you need them. Yes. Go, go. Burn it. Feeling those legs too, right? Let's go, guys. Keep it up. A few more seconds. Rest. Nice job. All right. We're coming into a side plank. So I'm going to place my feet through. The top leg is going to come and stay in the front. Shoulder elbow aligned. Engage the core, your top arm comes up. Lifting from that waist. Now, I'm gonna add a side bend and dip the waist. Add that side bend, whoo, lift the waist. You might be just holding a side plank without any movement here. Lifting that waistline. Lifting that side body. No tension in that lower neck, right? Woo, how are we doing? I'm feeling this, guys. You certainly should be. Rest. All right, I'm gonna transition to that other side. The top leg is gonna go in front like a little scissor. Shoulder elbow aligned. Core is in, neck is long and lengthened. Upper body is strong. Rise up from that waist. You might be holding. I'm gonna dip down, rise up. Dip the waist. Try not to move the feet too much. Think of the lower waist here. Lifting you up like a little rainbow. Lifting that side body. Whew. Feel that burn, guys. That feels amazing. And it feels hard. One more. Rest. All right, this one, I like this one. You're gonna place your right foot. Make sure it's on your rubber handles through both loops. Above the ankle, below the knee. Scooch forward a little bit, like a bridge position. Now, we're gonna rise up, core is in, squeeze in the buttocks, left leg stretches, scissor up and down. If this feels too much, keep the butt down. All right, so essentially, I'm working to keep the hip bones, the pubic bone, in that strong, long alignment. Up and down, you're feeling that glute. Upper body is nice and stable. How are we doing, guys? Burn in the belly and the little bit of legs. Good, switch. Opposite leg comes through. Remember, you want to press down slightly. If I don't engage here, the pelvis is going to tilt and rock. So core is engaging, right? You can even use this leg to help you up. Squeeze the buttocks of the left leg. Right leg extends, go into that bridge. Don't let your left leg swing or move. Squeeze that booty here. Keep the hips and pelvis neutral. There it is. How are we feeling, guys? Push to your end. Loving it. Go, go. Gazing up to the ceiling. And we're gonna turn around into teaser position. So, for your teaser, hands are pressing softly down into your cradles. Shoulders off your knees. I'm gonna give you a few options. Knees bent option one, inhale. Rise as you exhale. Lift tall in the sits bones, press down through the lats, through the side back, and then lower. If you need a little more, straight legs. Inhale, exhale, rise, stay, open, close, return. If that's too much, you're not gonna add the arms. Rise up, open, close, return. We're moving. Give me one more, guys. One more. And come down. Rest. My friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you have more time, I want you to skip the little warm-up. Start with your bridges. Go through this one or two more times for a killer core blast. You guys are amazing. Thank you again. Have a blessed day. 
If you did enjoy this workout, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to Workout Hotel for my latest videos. Remember now, I'm posting every day by 4 a.m. And on Wednesdays, I go live at 8 a.m. Eastern time for a longer variation of a workout. All right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow for another workout. Bye.